In this video, we are going to simulate half wave uncontrolled rectifier in MATLAB Simulink platform. This is the model question. Design, simulate and analyze the below given circuit using the following values. So the given values are V in. V in means nothing but supply voltage is 100 sin omega t. So 100 is the peak voltage. So we need this 100 peak voltage in order to uh, use this in order to edit this AC voltage source. Next resistance is 1 ohm and here we have series RLC branch. The value of this resistor is 1 ohm. Draw the simulated output in the graph sheet. So we will get the output and we have to draw it in the graph sheet. Write your analysis report as inference. So analysis report in the sense you can change you can uh, change the value of the resistance and we can, you can observe the variation in current waveform and also you can check the RMS value of the supply voltage and the output voltage and you can record the inference. This is MATLAB home page. Here I am going to click new and I am going to select Simulink model. This page opens and here I am going to select blank model. So this is the blank model. We are going to open the library browser. So here we can get all the components. So I am going to Simscape, Electrical, Specialized Power Systems. In this Specialized Power Systems, I am going to select Sources. And from here, we can get AC voltage. So simply drag and drop here. So I am going to get AC voltage source. In another way, simply double click the model and type AC voltage source. By this way also, we can get the source. Anyway, I got AC voltage source. Next. I need diode. So double click DIOD diode. This is also from specialized power system. So I got the diode. Next, I need a series RLC branch. So I'm selecting series RLC branch. Control R to rotate. So I got series RLC branch. Now I am going to connect AC voltage source to the diode and from diode to series RLC branch and then from series RLC branch to AC voltage source. I am going to double click AC voltage source and I am going to change the frequency to 50 Hz. The peak amplitude let it be 100 and the frequency is changed to 50 Hz. Apply. OK. Next I am going to double click the diode. Here let the parameters be as it is and uh, disable this show measurement port to make it simple. So now the measurement port is gone. And the last one series RLC branch, double click series RLC branch and select R. I need only resistance so I have selected R and here this is the resistance. So the double click again, it is one ohm. So let it be one ohm. And this is the circuit. And now we need to measure the voltage across the supply and the voltage across the load. So I need voltage measurement block. Double click here. Voltage measurement block. Select the voltage measurement block. And I, I got this voltage measurement block. Now I am going to connect it across the supply voltage. So voltage measurement block and I need another voltage measurement block to measure the voltage across the resistor. So I got two voltage measurement block and it is connected appropriately. Now, now I need scope, oscilloscope. So simulink sinks. So I got this scope 
since I am going to display these two uh, display this uh, two signals. Double click on this one. Go to file, number of input port is two. So I got two input port. First one is the supply. Second one is the voltage across the load. Okay, since I gave 50 hertz in the supply, the time for completing one cycle is 1 by 50, that is point, point 0.02. So I am going to change this stop time to 0 0.04 so that I will get two cycles. Now I am going to click the run button. So there, there is an error since I didn't capture this power guy. So double click and we need power guy, power GUI, graphic user interface. This is power GUI. Change this continuous to discrete signal. Apply. OK. And also choose modeling. Model settings, again model settings, uh, in this one we need to change the solver, instead of auto we are going to select ODE 23TB stiff solver, apply, ok. Now. Let's run the simulation and I won't get any error message. So successful. So now I am going to double click the scope. Now I am going to double click the scope and here you can see two cycles. First cycle completes at 0 0.02, second cycle completes at 0 0.04. First one is the supply voltage, second one is the output voltage across the resistor and you can see here positive half cycle is there but the negative half cycle is not there and hence it is called as half wave rectifier. rectifier.